communications in computers. Hello Vidya, how are you? I'm good ma'am. I have been studying a lot. I'm happy to hear that. We can now move on to another interesting topic related to communication system and other such devices. Yes ma'am. Let's begin. First, you need to understand the fundamental elements which are involved in any communication procedure. First element involved is the message itself which will be transmitted over the communication channel. Second element involved is the medium. It is this very medium through which the message is transmitted. It can be wires or a wireless medium. Third element involved is the sender. This entity is responsible for sending the message over the medium. Fourth element involved is the receiver. This entity is found at the end of the communication medium and receives the message transmitted. In this particular tutorial, we will be concentrating on the communication mediums in particular as they are our topic of interest. So first, let's understand what a transmission medium is. As explained, every communication system has a transmitter which is the sender of the message and a receiver which receives the message. Between these two, there has to be a physical connection which conveys the message forward and backwards. This physical medium is known as the transmission medium. The characteristics of the data transmission are determined by the nature of the signal along with the properties of the transmission medium. Transmission mediums can be divided into two broad types. Number one, guided transmission medium. Number two, unguided transmission mediums. There is a simple difference between guided and unguided transmission mediums. Guided transmission mediums are enclosed in boundaries, for example, cable wires, twisted wires, optic fibers, etc. Unguided transmission mediums are not enclosed in boundaries and the message is free to travel in space. We will first talk about guided media with the help of examples. 